In this problem, we are given a sequence uh, defined by a pattern, as we see here, and asked for some information about the sequence. Here are the first five terms, 2, 6, 10, 14, 18. The next term, a 6, well the pattern says add 4 each time. So the next one should be 22, and the one after that should be 26. That the way of describing it also tells us what's happening with the recurrence relation. If I'm adding 4 each time, that means that a n plus 1 had better be a n plus 4. I take the previous term, I add 4 to it, and that gets me the, uh, the next term. But remember with the recurrence relation, we also need to give you uh, the starting value, and the starting value is 2. What is an explicit formula for a n? In other words, if I give you n, can you tell me what the sequence term is? If I, if I want to know the millionth term, then I can't really use a recurrence relation because I have to go through all million terms. I'd like to be able to just find the millionth term just from a, a formula. So what's happening? Well, we're adding 4 each time, but we're starting at 2. So adding 4 each time should indicate that we have multiples of 4. So let's think about that. Let's use that. Multiples of 4. 4n. So that's 4, that's 8, that's uh, 12, and so on and so on and so on. What's the difference between those numbers that I've just read and what we have here? Well, the difference is that we're 2 off. We need to subtract 2. If I have 4, 8, 10, and then minus 2, that's going to get me, uh, sorry, 4, 8, 12, minus 2 will get me 2, 6, 10, and so on and so on and so on, starting at n equal to 1. Now there are alternate ways of writing this that are still correct. We could have instead thought, well let's start at 2, we'd like to add multiples of 4, but I can't just say 4n, because when n is 1, that would start me at 6. So I actually need to back that off a little bit, so I start at 2, look at multiples of 4, but let's use n uh, uh, if uh, when I plug 1 in for n, I don't want any multiples of 4, I want that to be 0. So plugging 1 in for n will make that go away, leaving me with, with just 2. So that's a different way to write it. There are even other ways that you could write it. There's not just a single correct answer up here uh, for part C.